Gotta have a little music. Are we having fun yet? It's the beginning of the week, and I wanted to start it off right. So get ready to learn. We're gonna do a few quick tips, because I have a webinar coming up that you need to sign up for. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and personal branding strategist at TotalGenius.net. And today, I want to talk about Donald Trump. Don't log off and don't get all mad and controversial. This has nothing to do with politics. But this actually has to do with what Donald Trump does for marketing. I mean, you have to admit, whether you like him or not, the reality is, is that he's up for one of the two, uh, or one of the, the one presidential seat of the United States. That's pretty impressive, considering he is so controversial, so many people hate him. And, you know, um, many people say that he just is stupid, that he's kind of an idiot. So whatever your political views, put them in the back seat for now because that's not what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about how he's a brilliant marketer. You know, I mean, you not anybody can be up for election. So, you know, first of all, have you have you been watching the elections? I haven't really been watching very much many of them and very much. But what makes the news is his strong, bold statements. Again, whether you agree with them or not, uh, he makes the news a lot. In fact, uh, his, part of his marketing strategy is using Twitter. And this is kind of brilliant. So before I get into the whole other side, he actually uh, tweets first thing in the morning so that he can control the conversation that goes on during the day. That's pretty brilliant when you think about it. But in fact, there's a lot of brilliance behind him and underneath him. And it's basically who he is. You know, it's how, what he does as president of the United States is the same thing he did to promote his show, The Apprentice. Same thing he did in business situations to make his millions. And so this is something that uh, you need to really understand and I'm going to break it down so it's not political and these are things that you can actually take heed to and develop for yourself. In fact, I have a webinar coming up in a couple of days and it's how to write a brand story that sells and it's not just write, uh, you know, the words that you use, what you speak and how you position yourself in business all are based on your solid foundation, which is your brand story. So if you want to sign up for that, that's at brandstory.totalgenius.net. There's a link uh, in the post. So let's just get busy studying Donald Trump. First of all, he's black and white. He is very bold and very, um, you know, opinionated. And he speaks his opinions very loudly. He doesn't waver. He doesn't uh, switch. He's very, you know, bold. And because of that, he sends a very clear message. In fact, he has a very crafted message that he says, let's make America great again. With those few words, he actually sets a tone. You know, let's make America great again. First of all, you know, everybody could agree that uh, America could get better. And to the people that he speaks to, again, is a very strong word. Because they, you know, his followers, are, don't agree with the way the system is going. So with those few words, his entire, um, I was going to say business, his entire campaign is based on that. Let's make America great again. So every time he speaks, every time he gets up in front of a crowd, every time you know he does anything, it's all based on that one message, whether he says that message or not. If somebody, if you were to go, you know, in the middle of the country, you know, in you know, BFE, Indiana, and you were to ask him what Donald Trump stands for. 
they would probably say that. Or they would say something like, you know, he's going he's gonna to help um, us do this, you know, because we haven't been able to do that. So he's, he gathers and engages a strong, opinionated uh, following who are supporters. They, they will yell about him. They will tell others about him. And they, they spread his message. Um, you know, so how can you use this? Take a position this is what positioning is. Positioning is actually where you, where you sit in the minds of your consumer. But as an entrepreneur, how you craft your brand story is how you place yourself and your business and your products and services in the minds of your consumer. So this is a very important step that most people miss. They think that uh, how they're perceived is how they're perceived. And that's not exactly the case. You know, I don't care how long you've been in business, but just a few subtle shifts that I'm actually going to go over on um, uh, in my webinar, and you can actually uh, watch my last one on positioning at positioned.totalgenius.net, where I give you the exact steps to do that. But the position that you take and how you speak it and how you get it into the, your, um, your I, prospective client's mind is important to creating your brand story. The next thing is, and this may shock some of you, but he communicates at like a fourth grade level. Okay, that may not shock you. But in actuality, uh, all humans... So that's you, you know, that's like the, um, you know, probably not like, you know, some brilliant Nobel Peace Prize winner, but it's, it's just the general human population. We communicate at a sixth grade level. I know it's kind of uh, horrific, but as somebody who has had 28 years of marketing experience, you know, 25 of them, I was doing it for retailers and, and shopping centers. And I got to tell you, you know, all, if you ever have been in a shopping center, you see those mall signs and, you know, pamphlets and different things like that. Nobody reads. Nobody reads. And nobody sees anything. So when you communicate, if you don't have a strong brand story, in actuality, you need to communicate at a sixth grade level. This means, you know, a lot of people like the way I write. So if you go to the Genius Library at TotalGenius.net, you'll see that my articles are very um, kind of simplified because I write in the way that I, that I speak. And so, you know, I'm, I, I'm 48, but I think I talk like a 28-year-old or a 17-year-old <laughs> because it's, I have to actually simplify information because what I'm learning about, you know, because I'm a uh, personal branding strategist, what I need to learn about are high level business concepts. And so I listen and read things over and over and over again. And in my mind, I have to actually simplify it so I can understand it. And that's how I'm able to explain it. So in your business and whatever you do, you can dumb it down without taking away the value of it. So this is a very important subtle difference is that most people, like if you look at Facebook, dumb it down to a level where your value is stripped. And so what ends up happening is you may have followers, but they may not be buyers. You may have followers, but they not, may not be loyal. And you may have followers that want to dumb down your prices, maybe don't want to pay you. And so communicating the value and depth of your work, I actually have an article coming out on that, is super important. And that is based on your brand story. You know, just as Donald Trump said, let's make America great again. All the times that, you know, you, you say, oh, he's an idiot or, you know, oh, that he's so stupid or, you know, I disagree with this. Do you agree that America could be great again? So 
the, you know, the impacts that you leave in people's minds have little to do with your, um, with the, the marketing messages that you put out. If your brand story is correctly positioned. So, you know, uh, I'm going to go over, actually, I was going to tell you, but I'm actually going to do this on, in my webinar about the mistakes that people made, make with their, um, with their brand story and to their positioning. There's, there's some critical things that I think, you know, when you, when you learn and you learn, you know, the, the free information that's out there and every, everybody, um, has, um, kind of diluted the whole goal of marketing in such a way that people that have a lot of experience. So, you know, I just told you I have 28 years of marketing and business experience and, you know, 25 of them were at a high level corporate level. So if you're like that, or you have like uh, inborn talent. So some, uh, one of my clients is, is an intuitive, you know, you don't learn that. That's like you're, you're born with it, but she's been doing it for so many years. And so, you know, those things are high value. So how you position your brand story is super important. And how then the marketing message that you mar marketing messages that you write, speak and position yourself as are also important. And I think that this underserved market of high level people, you know, I think back in the day when people were just going online and, um, you know, just starting their businesses, um, you know, those simplified things that really dumbed down what, who they were really worked because, you know, online was new. That was just a whole new format. And so, you know, people who were like, you know, 20, um, could just simplify and their, their message and get seen, heard and paid and they rose to the top. But then, you know, over time and, you know, remember internet runs in like high level milliseconds over time, uh, it, it's just been so watered down and there are so many people and so many new people going online that, um, there's just an underserved experienced population that is trying to learn those, those other concepts that worked years ago, they're not working. So I'm going to tell you why in my webinar, but, uh, okay. So let's get back to Donald. Um, he paints a picture. So his, uh, his brand story, the things that he says, his bold black and white messages, they, they make people visualize something. Now you may not visualize something good if you don't agree with him, but, you know, when he says, make America great again, people are, you know, picturing, you know, waving corn in fields or whatever waves in the field. <laughs> and so, you know, your marketing message, your brand story needs to paint a picture. Now, you can do this through your personal branding, which is something, you know, I help my clients with a lot in, uh, in really identifying what their visual persona is. You know, I, I think I talk about often um, your profile picture on Facebook. You know, something as simple as that. If it's like some dark um, photo, it's you and your husband or your wife, if that's fine, if that's the message you're trying to communicate, your visual branding, your colors and all of that. I'm, I'm, I'm going through, um, teaching one of my clients that now, you know, just developing her eye and I've trained graphic designers on this because understanding and having an eye for expression so you can position yourself from your brand story to your visual story is very important. And I'm going to also go into more of that on, uh, in my webinar. And uh, he does so much more, but I'm just going to end with this one. Uh, actually, I'm, there's two more. There's a bad guy. No, I know you may think that he's the bad guy, but he actually is not. There's a bad guy, and it's called the politician. So when he says, make America great again, the bad guy, you know, Hillary and all the people that came before, you know, Obama and all these people, um, he positions his people, you know, the followers against those people. 
So when he speaks, he's not the bad guy. But, this is my last point, he's not the hero either. So if you've ever listened to me speak, I talk about how all great stories follow Aristotle's story. There's a hero, and then the heroes are looking for guides. We're all the hero of our own story. I'm a hero. Are you a hero too? (laughs) We're all the hero of our own story. So, you know, he's the hero of his story. You know, he's made millions. He, you know, has a successful TV show. But to, in his position as uh, running for president, he is not the hero. He is the guide. He's the leader. And you know who the heroes are? His followers. You know, he leads them in the battle. You know, I'm going to lead the way. You, the business owner, CEO, you are the leader. So, yes, be the hero of your own story, but then know that um, you're not the hero and going to rescue somebody else. You're the guide. You actually take a background seat. So I'm going to tell you how to do that on Thursday, too. So I hope that you sign up for the webinar. It's at brandstory.totalgenius.net. And come join me at the Genius Collective on Facebook. You know, I I, I am not one to just do uh, random posts in there. I I really, you know, I don't think that way. And so uh, what what I teach is actually what I teach. I like to teach people things. I like to grow your brain. And uh, in fact, in my belief, that's what platforms like Facebook are for. It's a tool to market your business and it's a tool to help you engage with other people. So, you know, this is my personal, uh, my, pers- my own personal battle to say that you need to um, take charge of your business and take charge of your success. You know, I posted a, um, an image the other day that said, I'm CEO, bitch. I'm CEO, bitch. <laughs> That's what Mark Zuckerberg said to some of his uh, people who were interested in investing in face- Facebook. You know why? Because he had a strong brand. He had a strong mission, and he had people clamoring for that. So whether or not you have people cr- uh, clamoring for you, He understood his position, and that's how he got people clamoring for him. So, you know, if if you are um, following a lot of random people and trying to take in all this information and it's not applicable to you, what you're doing is you are depleting from what is applicable to you, which is you. So, you know... Let's really get down to the base of what sits underneath your brand story, which is you. And and when you can understand how to get that story out in the way it needs to be heard and understand what's actually valuable about it, that's when you will reach your success. You know, um, again, we're all um, trying to get our messages out there. And there is a foundational rule to business, and there's a foundational rule to marketing. Donald Trump didn't invent, you know, what he does as a a marketer. This has been the case over and over and over again when you look at all of the iconic, prolific brands. So, you know, you may not be Apple, but Steve Jobs was once just a person. And so... You know, just remember that. That's the message I want to leave you with. Come join me at the Genius Collective. Sign up for the webinar at brandstory.totalgenius.net. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye.